this next story probably won't produce any tears, but definitely a lot of steam coming from the ears of candidates who dropped out. The DNC is dropping, dropping donor requirements, all donor requirements for Democratic debates after New Hampshire. You know who's excited? This guy, Michael Bloomberg. He hasn't been able to reach the debate stage because the billionaire hasn't been taking in donations, spending his own money. For all the previous debates, candidates have had to prove to the DNC that they have a certain number of people donating to their campaigns. In a statement to NBC News, a DNC spokesperson said the donor threshold was appropriate for the opening stages of the race when candidates were building their organizations and there were no metrics available outside of polling to distinguish those making progress from those who weren't. It was only last month that Cory Booker wrote a letter to the DNC urging, begging them to adjust the thresholds since no candidates of color were going to be on the January debate stage. The DNC didn't, and Booker dropped out of the race. Here was a tweet from Booker's former campaign manager that sums it up. People who worked on Booker's campaign, not pleased. Same can probably be said for those who worked for Julian Castro. To qualify for the debate after New Hampshire, which happens in Nevada, candidates only need to earn one delegate in either Iowa or New Hampshire. We're back with our panel of Mara Dolan and Latha Magnaputi. I'm not sure how the DNC is going to explain this. Your candidate, Cory Booker, you'd probably still be with Cory Booker if he was in the race. I would. How do you feel about know, this? It, it's very disappointing, very, you know, but this is where we are. So we don't have to lose heart. I hope Amy Klobuchar will pick Cory Booker as her mm -hmm. VP. And I think he the two of them would make a phenomenal pair. Mara, you, you work a lot in Democratic circles. I do. Right? What, yes. You know, and I, sometimes people forget that the, the Democratic Party, the Republican Party, the Socialist Party, the Independent Party, there's private organizations. They're not governmental arms. Are people upset with the DNC, the Democratic National Committee, about how they've handled the debate issue? Everyone is going to be upset with the DNC because all organizations have structural problems. All of them do. So the DNC can't possibly do everything perfectly for everyone. I actually think that when a candidate is polling at 10 percent, as Michael Bloomberg is, it is appropriate to have him be part of the debates. I would like them to make an adjustment so that Deval Patrick could be part of the debates, not just because he's a candidate of color, but because I think he would bring so much in terms of his elocution. He's such a good... If you were in I charge, would, if you were in charge of the I DNC, would get, what would I you would, have done? I would put... Cody Booker back. <laughs> you would <laughs> reach out and tell him to come back. I, I, exactly, you know. What would was, you have done if you were the head of the DNC, though? How would you have figured out who should be on stage? You know, we had a great uh, slate of candidates, and every single one of them. And the most at stake is electability. And I think, you know, putting the, the polls, who took the polls? And uh, how did, did the polls? You're and, singing my song right yes, there. I think and the I was very disappointed. I was yep. absolutely said it from the very beginning. I'm not answering the polls, so who are they? 